You might have seen footballers with those amazing physiques, ripped, jacked, ready to go. But the thing is, we don't do that just for the beach. There is a specific purpose behind all of the exercises and all the stuff that players do in the gym, and it makes you a better player. And that's what we've got for you today. Let's go. So the best thing to do is to break down your workout into parts. What we've got is our upper body, our explosive movement, our leg strength and power, and our core. On to the first one. All right, guys, so we've got four exercises in our push-up super set. The first one, of course, is out wide. So what you'll do, get your arms set out wide. You do not want to crouch like this. You guys don't want to hunch like this. As best you can, try and keep your body flat. Squeeze your core, squeeze your butt, squeeze your stomach. That'll keep things nice and tight right there. And then we'll lower down like this, all right? We'll do 10 wide push-ups. We'll then move in to a normal push-up, keep our elbows in, and we'll go like this. 10 more, then we'll do diamond right here, like this, put your arms in a diamond, go down like that, that works your chest incredibly. And then of course we have our lovely push-up blowout set. 30 seconds, you're just getting in there, you're getting your push-ups, all right? You've got these one-handed push-ups, you can do those too, like this. I'm not gonna do it, I could do it, I could, I could do it. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna embarrass you guys by doing my, I just don't wanna do it, right? But that's it, all right? So we have those four exercises, and that is what will bring us together for our upper body, making us look good, rough, and tough. All right, so one of the most important parts of your game will be your explosive movement. No footballer is complete without having quick and fast movement when going to the goal or defending. So we've got four exercises right here for you. This is your Ronaldo Mbappe Super Series Tornado Earthquake Jammer 3000. All right, get ready for it. First, we set up with squats, simple squats. Everything we will be doing here, we do with sets of 10. 10 squats, straight down. You can do squats right here, or you can go all the way down, ass to grass squat. Then we go to a lateral movement, all right? So that's our lateral lunges. You don't have to go all the way down like this. We want things to be quick, all right? So we'll go there, 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 all right? Next, we'll move on to scissor jumps. So that's a bit of a lunge jump. What you do is you're here, explode up and switch, explode up and switch, all right? And last but not least, of course, we have our squat jumps. So extending out and moving on, that's down and then up. All of these, what we want to do here is not just to get through them as fast as we can, we wanna make sure our form is good as well. Once you're done with this, grab a little rest, grab your weights because it's time to go hard. All right, so now to take things a bit further, if you wanna add weights into your workout, that's something that you can do. Of course, depending on your age, you need to be careful at how much you lift and all that stuff. You can rest assured that most footballers do not lift a massive amount of weights with slow movements and stuff like that because the game is not like that. You wanna be quick. So what we have for you today, two simple, small dumbbells, you guys. You don't have to do these with weights, of course, as we said. If you wanna add a little bit of something here, we start with lunges. So the idea with lunges, and I'll turn to the side, that way you guys can see it. We don't wanna extend out and put pressure on our knee like that. We wanna keep everything at a 90 degree angle if we can. So when I do my lunge, I keep my body straight, I bend down like this, and up, all right? There are a ton of different variations, but of course for today, because we've put so much load on our other legs, all we wanna work on today is just going up and down, keeping our form simple, and just slightly loading the legs, like ballers. Now, compound movements are what footballers love to do. The reason for this is that you cannot isolate any of your muscles in a game. You are not gonna find very many footballers in the gym just doing bicep curls because it doesn't apply to the game. So compound movements are where it's at. Right here, we've got a squat. We bend down. You can, of course, just bend down right here and keep it like this if you're feeling that that's enough for you. If not, if you wanna ex extend it a little bit more, when you come up, you push and extend your arms here, all right? So you can see, obviously, in the clips that we're showing you, that's what happens, but slowly there, once you're near the top, you push and you extend your arms. For those of you that are trying to get faster, your hamstrings are gonna be very important to you, and RDLs are a drill that will help you do that. This is a very simple, relaxed drill. As you can see, we've got the two dumbbells here. As we bend down, slowly like this, we keep our arms close to our legs, 
Notice that our legs are fairly straight, not completely locked, but fairly straight. As we come down to here, we reach somewhere between the middle of our shins, and then we come back up into a straight position. That's gonna give you that speed, that Mbappe speed, that Ronaldo speed, that Usain Bolt speed. All right, so of course we have to work on our core. That is the key to all of your movement. Nothing moves without your core, all right? You cannot leave this guy behind. So we have a simple sit-up set, which of course you grab a ball if you want. You can grab a medicine ball. You go down, touch behind you, you'll come back up, and then you'll reach, all right? So down, up, down, up. Simple as that, all right? Right there, simple transition into Russian twists. Don't know why they're Russian, but Right there, all right? Boom. Lift your legs in the air, twist like this. Touch the ground each time. The faster you can go, the better, all right? From there, we'll move straight on to stabilization, all right? So it's not all about the movements, it's all about the twists. Planks are huge because they will also work your back, which is another key part of your core. So in here, don't slouch once again. Don't do that. Keep everything as flat as you can. Squeeze your arms and everything and squeeze your muscles as you're in this position. All right, and so you'll hold this position for about 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. If you're more advanced, of course, you can hold this for a minute or longer, all right? Once you're here, we'll switch to the side. If you wanna add something to it, raise your arm up in the air. If you wanna add even more to it, lift your leg up in the air. Hold it there or pump like this, okay? There are even things you can do like this, like this, all right? Get creative with it because that's exactly what we would do. Obviously then we catch this other side, same things apply. You can also do things like this. And once you're done here, you chill, relax, grab a drink and roll out. All right guys, that's the vid. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Get your recovery drink in. Ah, drink of champions. We will see you later. Make sure to check out Will John. Check out all the links in the description box for all the stuff we have and enjoy your day and enjoy your life. Ball forever.